डिफरेंस बिटवीन अक्यूट कोलीथाइसिस कोलीसिस्टाइटिस कोली एंजाइटिस कोली डोकोलिथाइसिस Acute coli lithiasis. Lithiasis meaning stones. Coli indicating the gallbladder, and acute meaning an infection which has been there for less than seven days. Whenever stones are formed in the gallbladder, irrespective of their size and number, whenever they rub against the mucosal lining of the gallbladder, results in inflammation. This inflammatory process is perceived by the patient as dull colicky pain. Colicky being a cramp-like pain. This can be diagnosed by doing an ultrasonography or by an x-ray if the stones are radio opaque now most important goal is to know what are the features of this disease in this patient they would have a dull flank pain or right hypochondrium pain which is dull in nature and this is always perceived after taking a fatty meal and the patient has no fever there is no fever because now infection has not occurred infection occurs when there is stasis moving towards the next disease cholecystitis cystitis meaning cystic duct obstruction whenever gallstones dislodge into the cystic drug which drains the bile from this area into the common bile duct when this area is bile obstructed there is collection of the bile fluid this becomes a promoting area for bacteria to come here and infect this fluid now when this this fluid is infected this results in this also results in inflammation which is perceived by the patient as constant pain this condition can also be perceived by a sign known as the murphy sign in the murphy sign what we do is we ask the patient to exhale the examiner places their hand below the costal margin or below on the ninth costal cartilage on the right side at the mid clavicular line and the patient is instructed to inspire when the patient does so they stop breathing because now the abdominal wall has become in contact with the gallbladder now because of the gallbladder is inflamed whenever they touch the abdominal wall they the patient would perceive this as an intense amount of pain due to which they would stop breathing for that second this condition can be diagnosed on ultrasonography hide scan and the patient comes to us with the following points basically they would have the right quadrant pain because the cystic duct has been obstructed now the patient would have raves in the wbc because infection has occurred in the respective area as well as they would have fever but they would not have jaundice because the blockage is here not here when the blockage is here now the fluid that is coming from the liver is being blocked that fluid would back up and that fluid will result in jaundice but since there is no backing up of fluid so there is no jaundice being present in this disease now what happens if this stone that was lodged here comes here now if it, if it comes here now it be it would be backing up the liver a uh, liver excreted product this will result in jaundice but the patient in this condition will have no pain or any fever and there will be no raise in the wbc count because right now in this position there is no infection occurring in this respective area this condition is known as coli docolithiasis this condition can be diagnosed on ercp in which we can see there there are dilated ducts what is ercp ERCP involves passage of an endoscope through the mouth, esophagus, stomach, and then the duodenum. A thin tube is then inserted into the endoscope into the biliary system. A radio opaque dye is injected through the tube into the biliary tract, and the X-rays are taken for the biliary tract and the pancreatic duct. On this, we would see dilation of these ducts. and the treatment is also ERCP ERCP can also help to remove the obstruction from the common bile duct now moving next cholangitis now you remember the stone was here there was no fever no pain but due to stasis this area can also be infected later on when bacterial infection occurs in this area there will be 
the patient would be jaundiced, but now the patient would have fever and right upper quadrant pain. This condition is because of the inflammation of the CBD. Now, having all of these three features, the patient is now known to have a charcot triad. This is a diagnostic point of cholangitis. When the patient fulfills this triad, they are known to have cholangitis. Now, if they have additional features like hypotension and altered mental status, which may indicate the patient is in shock, this triad converts into a rendered pentard. This condition can be diagnosed on ultrasound and it can be, this patient needs an emergency ERCP.